languages philip omondi let's get the show on the expressway we begin with our declaration from president william ruto now he maintains that he will implement the housing levy in spite of the high court's decision that rendered it unconstitutional as jeff kirui reports ruto insists the levy fits in his plan of creating jobs as well as offering all kenyans access to decent housing now the president's announcement comes amid kenya kwanzaa's administration's move to sponsor the affordable housing bill currently before parliament Two weeks after a three-judge bench of the High Court quashed the housing levy declaring it unconstitutional for being discriminatory and creating unequal principles, President William Ruto is adamant about pushing ahead with implementing his pet project despite obstacles. We must do it. Korea did it. Singapore did it. Uh, Malaysia did it. And that is why they are ahead of us. We know what we must do. But we cannot gather the courage to do it. But this time round, whatever it takes, we are going to implement it. According to President Ruto, the housing levy has been a subject of opposition as it fits in his agenda of economic transformation and offering decent housing for Kenyans. People will come to Kenya and they will not recognize. We will have transformed this country in a very fundamental way. And it is going to take difficult, smart um, uh, decisions, and I promise you we are very well underway in making sure that we change our country. We have always, I promise you, all leaders in Kenya, they know what should be done. Everybody knows what should be done. But it never gets done. So this time around, we are going to be intentional. We are going to be deliberate. Because we must do it. The three-judge bench termed the levy discriminatory as it targets only Kenyans employed while excluding those in the informal sector. But President William Ruto's administration has been making drastic legal proposals to anchor his ambitious affordable housing by sealing loopholes that saw the housing levy outlawed. I am very confident in the peoples of Kenya understanding and appreciating where we need to go. That's why I was elected. You know, I am very confident that we are going to change this country and the bumps that we have, the challenges that we have, for example, the example I just gave here. I mean, people are fighting housing when, when the results are very clear. Ruto was speaking during the official opening of the second annual Kenya Diaspora Investment Conference at Kenyatta International Convention Center. The diaspora's contribution through remittances has overtaken the performance of our major exports and now constitute a major anchor of economic stability and driver of investments in our country. The Kenyan diaspora has truly come of age, and it is therefore important that they take their rightful space in the development agenda of our country. In the engagement, President William Ruto committed that his administration will strive to digitize services by the government as he emphasized the need for collaboration. <laughs> Jeff. Kiroi KTN News. Let's see the coming days how people react.